Can huge geologic features like the Grand Canyon be carved into Earth's landscapes in just a few thousand years? Could mass wasting shape enormous geologic features like these in just a few thousand years? Secular scientists, of course, they say no. Consider this quote from a recent textbook. However, even the smallest knowledge of geology shows that the events recorded in today's landscapes cannot possibly have occurred in only a few thousand years, and that emphasis is mine. Yet this belief is tightly bound to the acceptance of uniformitarianism, or as some like to call it, actualism, where rates of mass wasting as they occur in the present are used to interpret the past. But what if the geologic past was instead punctuated by massive catastrophic events that precipitated continental-wide mass wasting? Could such catastrophes produce large geologic features like these in just a few thousand years. To test this hypothesis, I will compare small-scale geologic features that rapidly resulted from recent mini-catastrophes with these larger examples that are interpreted in terms of mass wasting over millions of years. The small-scale mini-catastrophes of the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, the Pleistocene Bonneville and Missoula floods. So, Let's start with these three canyons here. All three of these canyons are several hundred feet deep and were eroded from solid basalt. Yet these canyons were all cut in just a few months when an ice age lake called Lake Bonneville burst its banks. This massive flood combined with a similar flood called the Missoula flood even generated hundreds of feet thick of both coarse grained and even fine grained sediment, again in just a few months. Smaller scale canyons and deposition occurred during the eruption of Mount St. Helens on the west coast of the United States in 1980. Notice the cutting of canyons in sediment that itself was generated by the volcanic eruption. Given this kind of catastrophic cutting and deposition, isn't it plausible that much larger features such as these could have been generated catastrophically by catastrophic flooding rather than present rates of mass wasting over millions of years. In a creation model, this is precisely what occurred. Many creationists believe that most of the Earth's large geologic features were formed very soon after the flood of Noah. No, not by the flood of Noah. In this model, the Earth still sort of finding equilibrium after globally devastating tectonic movements and flooding would have been a dangerous place to live. Huge local floods, large earthquakes, rapid changes in sea level, uh, massive volcanic eruptions and rapid mountain building, all occurring on continents draped in saturated sediments would have provided perfect conditions for continental-wide mass wasting. In my particular model, most of the geologic column was actually deposited by regional scale catastrophes in the years leading up to the events recorded in Genesis 6 through 9, which we call Noah's Flood. Uh, this was then mirrored by even more catastrophes in the centuries following the flood. That's a mainstream creationist idea. So back to this quote. This statement, it's simply not true. The fact is, it is possible for all of the planet's modern landscapes to have formed very rapidly. What matters then is one's philosophical commitment to either uniformitarianism or catastrophism. Well, that's all from me here, Dr. C at Creation Unfolding. Uh, please don't forget for more resources, I have a website, www.creationunfolding.com. I also have a book that you can buy for $3 US. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And for easier access to more videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, goodbye.